Hi, it's Ian from The Useless Crafter. Look at what we're gonna do today. Uh, we're gonna do this in design space. Uh, before we get started though, if you haven't subscribed, please do, I would appreciate it. Love all the support that you can give me. Okay, back to the main program. Um, this is Belle, as you can see, she's 20 inches. I'm gonna show you how to do it in design space, but I wanted to show you how different this one is from my other off the mat projects. Um, right away, I don't know if you can see the different colors that are coming through. I feel like even the glitter is looking different. So what you're seeing is HTV. You're seeing HTV for her bronze hair, which I think is just a gorgeous color. Like I'm so excited about that. The skin color is from my curated skin tone collection that has yet to be released because we're having shipping issues. but. It is the color that I love for these princesses. Um, so if you notice her earrings, they have like a like a real jewel like uh, look to it, I guess. Um, it's really sparkly. It's way more sparkly than I think any glitter cardstock that I can find. But I love being able to use the bronze for her hair because then I could use the glitter HTV for her eyes. I've done Belle in the past. I've done, you know, a ton of princesses, right? Um, oh my, hold on. Um, and what ends up happening is if she has brown hair, I usually use the glitter um, cardstock for her hair and her eyes. And so like, I just love being able to show like the different colors. And I feel like in this case, it really does make her eyes pop out. Um, I just love it. The her lips, they it looks like like lipstick in person because you don't have it's you know you don't have that paper quality to it. So I am in love with this project. Um, the other thing is because this is for the Impressions Expo coming up in Long Beach, California. <laughs> um, I did the back to look nicer. It's got like the streamers so you don't see any white. Um, and I show you how to do all of that. So I wanted to show this so that while we're designing this in design space, that you already have an idea of why we're doing it the way we're doing it. So I'm gonna move this aside. Um, I don't want this to get ruined, so give me just one second so I can pop this out so that it can stay supported. All right, so I'm gonna move my keyboard over and I'm gonna change my screens so that you can see me, hold on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna move myself to the bottom corner-ish. Okay, we have a lot of fun projects coming up. I don't know if you can see this. This is Teenage Belle in like um, jeans and a yellow top that I have a matching outfit to go with. <laughs> we've got mandalas, we've got some fun birthday projects coming up. I don't know, I'm so excited. But anyway, let's go to this bell. So here is Belle. And okay, here we go. Ah, what happened? Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, we want to customize it. So uh, this bell I found on Etsy, it is a very popular image, so you should be able to find it. Now, the way that I did the HTV, I basically cut out bell like in regular cardstock. So her brown hair, I used brown cardstock. And then I cut it again in HTV so that I had a piece to apply the HTV onto the cardstock so that I could do it in pieces. And the reason why is, well, one, I'm experimenting. So I, I've i done lots of HTV on, on cardstock before, but not a 20 inch image of HTV onto cardstock. So I was worried about um, the cardstock kind of bending um, if I had to press it multiple times. So that's why I cut it out. I, although I have an idea brewing in my head, but this is how I did it. So I'm gonna show you how to replicate this, okay? So first thing is, let's make this 20 inches. So the height is 20. I'm gonna go up here to size. I'm gonna keep it locked because if I unlock it, if I change it to 20, it's gonna distort it. It's gonna keep the width at you know seven inches, but make her really long. It's gonna look like a funny mirror at the um, 
at the fair, okay? <laughs> so I just wanna make sure that you guys get that. So a couple of things, so you know we're doing this in HTV, which is different. I'm not saying you should do it, but it's good for if you ever ran out of the paper that you wanted to use and you're in a bind and you have HTV, you can do it. Or if you didn't have a certain color, you know, like, like if you wanted her eyes to be different, you could do glitter cardstock for her hair and glitter HTV for the eyes and it will give you, because it, it will be different, they won't look identical, so it'll give you just enough to show the difference if that's what you're looking for. So these are just kind of um, tools to have in your tool bag. You're not always gonna use it, but um, I don't know. And I just wanted to experiment. So, okay, uh, but there was another tip that I was gonna tell you. What was it? <laughs> uh, oh! Because this is for the expo, I did use 12 by 24 cardstock for the black background. So I just wanna be upfront about that. Okay, let's continue. So we made this 20 inches. We're gonna um, ungroup it. And almost everything should be fine to cut. Um, so as soon as I ungrouped it, we have the yellow is saying it's too long, right? Um, as well as the skin and the background. So we're gonna move these things out so we can kind of work on everything, okay? I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so that we're not, you can, we can see everything on the screen. Okay, this is saying it can cut as is, right? But we don't want it like this, it's really inefficient. So what you can do is, um, well, first of all, the eyes too, I want it to be a separate color. But what we're gonna do then is we're gonna slice out certain parts of this. So under shapes, let's bring in a square and we're gonna make the square really, really big. And we're gonna slice out these pieces because right now all of the brown is showing as one image, okay? So I'm gonna make this really big and I'm gonna put this to cover this portion of the hair, okay? And we're gonna slice. So I'm gonna grab this square and the brown and slice. And it's gonna take that portion of the hair and pull it away from the rest of the image. So now I have my brown image is this, this portion, this we can get rid of, we don't need that. But this is now its own little piece, which is good because now you can cut this on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Now you can cut this on a, a 12 by 12 sheet of HTV, okay? Um, I know, I've got so much in my head, sorry. I'm pausing because normally on my previous H, um, Off The Map Bell project, I would have welded some of these pieces because right now they're individual pieces. I did keep everything as an individual piece so that if you wanna see Bell the way I did it um, the old way, you can look up that video. Actually, it'll, it'll be linked um, in the description so that you can compare the two. Um, I'm sort of just kind of giving you all of these options and you choose what you want to do, your personal preference, okay? I just want to throw it out there. <laughs> okay, this one, let's continue with, oops, gosh, sorry. I'm going to move this square and I'm going to cover this brown part. When you're slicing, it's really important that the piece that you're removing from everything else, so right now I'm going to remove this portion of the hair, that it is completely covered in this square and only that piece. We don't want something like this where some of the eye is in this square as well because um, it's gonna slice it together and you would not have achieved what uh, we're going for. So I'm gonna grab these two and slice. When you're slicing, you can only slice two items at a time. So I'm slicing the square and the brown image. So I'm moving this piece of hair out of the way. I'm gonna move this so that you can see. So now this little guy is now separated from the rest of the browns, okay? Now up here, this is all kind of hard, right? Because it's so close together. I really just want the eyes out of the way. So I'm gonna remove my square and I'm going to click on this and duplicate this image. And we're gonna use contour this time. I want the eyes separated from uh, the hair. And <laughs> I'm like, I could have sliced it, but I'm gonna show you this anyway. Okay, we're gonna hide all. 
What we want is we want the eyes. So I'm gonna click on the eyes, the inside and the outside. We want both. Okay, and then I'm gonna unclick this. And now I have just the eyes. Okay, that way you can change this to be a different color if you wanted to. So I'm gonna change that to a different brown. On this one, we don't need the eyes anymore, right? So we can go to contour and we can just select the eyes to be removed. So I want the outside of the eyes to be removed. Ah, hold on. Me hit contour, I forgot to do the inside of the eyes. So we also don't want the inside. Okay, here we go. Now it's just the big hair. Okay, so now all of these pieces we can cut on HTV and cardstock. Let's look at the yellow. So the yellow is all included here, right? Now, same thing with the yellow. Um, we can slice out these individual pieces. Now, I separated, um, if you remember the bell that I just showed you earlier. I don't know why I selected that shape. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's slice out this earring. I separate, I did the yellows in two different colors. I did the earrings and these little beads down here as jewel pieces. So it was a different gold shimmery yellow than her dress. So I'm gonna now do this earring. I'm gonna grab it like this. So you can uh, see like, you know, the more you want to be efficient with your materials, you would end up slicing out a lot of these things. Sometimes it's not worth the effort. So it's up to you how much you want to slice out from the image. So my two earrings are separated. Um, let me make, now here, this, we can easily use contour, right? So we'll duplicate this image and we'll contour out the pieces of her dress. So I'll click on contour and we'll just select the dress to be removed. So I'm left with the three jewel pieces, right? And then on this one, I can go to contour and remove the beads. And you can remove it from clicking on the image or you can do it on the right hand side panel. Like I can click on that and then I remove the beads. This you can, um, yeah, you're gonna want to slice that out. So I'm gonna do something like this. And, oh, you know what? This is a good thing to show you. Do you see how this, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so you can see there. This piece does not cover exactly all of this. So that would be sliced off. We don't want that. So I'm going to make this smaller and I'm gonna adjust this so that I can get in there and only get the yellow. Now, the piece that I'm using has this open area, right? What we don't want is something like this because then it would slice out this little piece too. So you wanna make sure that the piece you're slicing out is completely covered by the shape without the open areas, okay? All right, so I'm gonna grab it like this and slice. And as soon as it slices, okay, we can move on. This, she looks so beautiful. I wish I could, um, I'm gonna maybe try to video it on my camera. The colors are so pretty. I wish I had an old bell to show you what that would look like, but I don't have time right now to remake <laughs> another bell. But um, let's grab this and change it to a different yellow. Okay. So we've got that done. Um, it looks so good, so good. All right, um, this one is also too big. So I would, let's make, have three copies of this image to break it up into three pieces and we're gonna use contour. So on the first one, let's hide all and it leaves us this, you know, her neck area, but I want that little cutout, so I need to click on that to make sure that it's there. And then here is my neck. Okay, so I'm gonna move that out. Then on this one, click contour, and we're gonna hide all again. And this time I want the little shoulder, I don't want this piece, so I'm unclicking it. And then here's my shoulder, 
then I have just the face left. So now we're gonna go to contour and we're just gonna select remove this and remove this and I think we're good. Ah, wrong one, shoot. I clicked on the wrong one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see, we wanna remove this. All right, do I have all my pieces? Okay, I have my neck, I've got my shoulder, I need my face. On this one, we wanna contour. We're gonna remove the shoulder and the neck. Okay. And there we have it, okay? So now those pieces all can cut on cardstock and HTV. And the eyes and this I kept all together. And then here are her lips. So all we have left is the black background. I still use my grid of squares. Um, and this is an SVG that you can either buy on my website or on Etsy. So it's theuselesscrafter.com or uh, you can sign up for my mailing list and you can get it for free. So I'm gonna go under images and what's nice is every time you do an off the mount or anytime that you need to slice something big, uh, you can just go into your image library because once you upload it, it will be available in your image library. So I named it Square. I'm gonna go to ownership and do uploaded. So it only has, whoops. And the SVG comes with two sets of squares. Your first grid is going to be a three by three. So that's gonna be basically 33 inches by 33 inches of like a grid of squares that is totally flushed with each other. Um, all right. <laughs> Normally it doesn't take this long. I think because I'm recording, I don't know what's going on here. Um, it also comes with a grid of four by four. So the four by four is 44 inches by 44 inches. So it should really solve all of our issues on off the mat. All right, I don't know what's going on here. I am instead gonna go to my upload because it's in my library. Um, so this is not a very good example of how it would work, but once it's in your image library, then you can just go, every time you do an off the map project, you can just insert the image, okay? So I'm gonna go to upload because I know it's in my uploads here. And I'm gonna click view all. So it's nice to have it, you know, instead of creating it each time. And then the other thing is, okay. <laughs> um, it was designed so that we can hide the seams as best as we can. Because they're totally flushed, it helps us put the pieces back together again. So it there is a reason for it. Um, and I show you if you don't wanna buy it and you don't wanna give me your address, which by the way, I've yet to send out a, a mailing like letter. <laughs> so I don't intend on doing that often, only when there's news or there's like a great sale that I don't want you to miss out on. Other than that, I'm, I'm really not sending out, like I said, I've yet to send it out. I've had my website since July now. <laughs> so there you have it. All right, gosh, you can see all my uploads. This is, I love it when uh, things don't go my way. <laughs> okay, it's coming, I promise. Um, if you don't wanna do either one of those, you can go to one of my older videos. I show you how to recreate the grid of squares. It's not difficult to do, but you know it takes a few minutes and if you're gonna do it all the time, it's definitely, um, you can avoid it. Okay, it is here. Good Lord. All right, here we go, it's coming up. But what's fun is you get to see, you get to see my all my images. Okay, that's not the right square because that's not all. What is going on? <laughs> Here we go. So you get the 16, right? And where is my three by three? Here it is. So you would just select it and add to canvas. Normally, it would not take this long. <laughs> Um, all right, so how do you use it? Once you upload it, once it gets onto your canvas, step one is you want to, and let me make this smaller. I'm gonna 
reduce my screen size. You want to go to position and you want to round to the nearest whole number. So in this case, I'm going to round three and five, okay? Because I want it specifically on a whole number so that I can work with this and adjust and still make sure that if I need to make adjustments, I can, um, I can make sure that they stay flushed and I know how to recreate it, okay? Sort of trust me on this. <laughs> Ungroup it, okay? Then scroll down to get our black background. So here it is, and go to Arrange, send to the front. Now, if you look at Belle, do you notice her head can be in one full square, right? So I want that. Um, now I ended up using, oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna remove this because there's nothing in that square, nothing in that square. This can be sliced in two. I don't need three, right? It will fit. So this is a good example of when we wanna move something, okay? So I'm gonna grab these two and I'm just gonna hit my cursor and move it over. So now, Belle, the black background, is actually gonna be just two pieces because if you remember this piece right here, I'm gonna use a 12 by 24 cardstock. So instead of three pieces, she's two pieces, okay? So I'm gonna slice her up at this point. And what's nice is when you watch the video when we're putting this together, the reason why I like having, well, in this case, it's not as critical, but it's nice that I know there's no, there's no overlapping and there's no missing pieces so that like the pieces go up right next to each other, you tape it, and it's gonna be as seamless as possible, okay? So here's her head. Her head is 9.4 by 10.6, so we know we can cut that. And then the bottom piece is 16.6 by 9.3, which you can cut on 11 or 12 by 24 mat. 12 by 24 cardstock paper and on a 12 by 24 mat. So this is all done. So I'm gonna save this. This is, um, we're gonna go to the Make It page. So what I would recommend is if you wanna do it exactly the way I did it, your first round of cutting, you're gonna cut everything in cardstock. So right now, this should all look really good. You're gonna click OK here. We're gonna cut this out in cardstock. Here's the big black background her head, this is her neck. Now, this piece right here though, oh, we don't need that, uh, okay. Let's just click on the three dots. We're gonna move it to another move object. We need to get rid of that. I forgot to contour that out. So anyway, but that neck can fit over here. I, oh no, you know you want, it'll fit on the face. So you can move, you can move these pieces to a different mat. I'm gonna click confirm. And I'm just gonna move it like this. So this piece can cut, whatever. You just throw it away when it cuts. Um, this is off, you know, on one page. So her skin color is gonna be two pages of cardstock. Let's look at her hair. Her hair, I think, can be moved as well. So let's click on the three dots, move object, and let's move it to this brown, confirm. So now you need to make sure though that none of the pieces are overlapping because then you'll you'll have a ruined piece of, you'll have ruined material. Okay, here we go. Let me move this out of the way. We're gonna move her down first. We're gonna move this piece into here. So now all the pieces are not overlapping but we can cut it all on one sheet of cardstock. Um, here are the eyes. If you wanted to, right, we could have sliced this out and moved the two eyes closer together. And then here is her dress. We could do this though. Make it a little bit more efficient. Um, that's the jewelry and then here's the lips. So you cut through everything. When you go to do HTV, don't forget to mirror, right? So like the lips, for instance, when you're doing the HTV portion, mirror it and then cut on HTV. So I cut everything in HTV except for the skin 
and the black background. Everything else I cut in cardstock and HTV. And you get to make this beautiful little thing. There. <laughs> She's, I mean, I can't, I, her face is pretty big. I mean, like she's right next to me. This is, you know, a sizable piece, even at 20 inches. So I absolutely love it. Um, all right, so we're gonna cancel out of this. You should be done with this. Let me show you what's coming up that I think is so cute. I'm gonna show you the image. This little girl, so this is Teenage Belle. I have a matching outfit. The bear is from Together We Rise, so you know it's that charity organization that I have aligned myself to and want to work a lot with them. And she's wearing Nike Airs. It's so stinking cute. So we're going to be making this next. Um, so subscribe, please. <laughs> then you won't miss any videos. All right. If you want to see anything, have questions, whatever, please post them and we'll get back to you. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Bye.